By all accounts, you're lucky to be alive. Is that right? Look, I'm glad you came. I'm only here to find out how you know where I live. Your address was... Where? Where did you find my address? And when? Must have been recently, because when I last saw you, you had no idea or you would have said. <sighs> oh, you found it in my bag, didn't you? Eh? When you were nicking the money. Not that there was much. I try not to have cash when you're around. You have been my greatest teacher. And you mine. So you came looking for me, well, rather, looking for money for your drugs. No. Yes. Yes, I needed money, but it wasn't for pills. And yet, here we are, again. I scored because you wouldn't help me. You walked away. Oh, your logic is beyond me. And where are you going? Uh, I'm not going to stand here, listen to you. Blame me for everything, all the problems in your life that you're going to... No, thanks. Yeah, go on. Walk away like you always do. Don't you accuse me of walking away when I've spent my life... Oh, <sighs> oh you always know which button to press, don't you? Eh? It's like you were born with a map of my nerves. Yes, I needed money. For but... drugs? For me electric. Oh, and yet you've got money to pay for the drugs that you've just OD'd on. Who did you steal that from? I didn't steal anything. Well, where did you get the money? Asked. Begged. Oh, such a massive mistake getting back in touch with you. I should have stayed in Bristol. I should have stayed in Cape Town, anywhere other than up here. You know, I was doing all right until last year, till I came back up north. Oh, doing all right, addicted to pills and living on the street? A blip. A blip that I got you over and I got you a place and I got you clean. And then you left me. Uh, but, yeah, because you were sorted out, I had to go to the... Where? Oh, you had something else to do. Something other than being with your own daughter on Christmas Day. Oh, you know how to make me feel special. How to make me feel loved. Well, I was the one doing all right, actually, thank you. Made a life for myself. I was getting along nicely, ticking along. <laughs> yeah. Right little heart of the community, aren't you, hey? <laughs> I saw you today. People coming to and fro, in and out of your house. Who was the fella going into your house? Oh, should I pretend not to know what she's talking about? Should I say he's me lodger or? She would just cut to the chase. Tyrone Dobbs. Lovely man. Gave me a couple of quid. Well, quit that I was honestly intending to put on my lucky card, but then we got chatting. I asked him how long he lived in the street and and who he lived with. And he told me you were his gran. Which is funny when you think about it. I mean, really funny. Because that would mean he's my son. <laughs> Imagine, can't you? My head was spinning. I mean, pretty much the same as yours is right now. My baby. My baby. That you told me you'd left on the steps of some police station somewhere in Liverpool has all grown up. And you're both living together like... like some nice, happy family. Well, if that's not enough to make someone want to go out and get off their heads, I don't know what would. Just, just imagine. Just imagine that circle, my son is snatched from me because everyone thinks I'm using. And later in life, we find each other. And unwittingly, he gives me the money for pills that I OD'd on. It's like a Greek tragedy or something. <laughs> he didn't give me any money. I didn't even speak to him. I got talking to some fella from the garage. Now, I might have been winding you up about talking to Tyrone, but hearing that you are both living together from a total stranger, well, that's 100% the reason I had to score some buds. You? What? You 
abandoned you him. You snatched him. I was doing my best for him. I was 16. You were on heroin. Just for a bit. Yeah, can you have a bit of heroin? I got clean. Yeah, and then you got dirty again. I, I had ups and downs. Yeah, but you know you would have destroyed him. And you saved him. Well, I'm making up for it now. You really believe that, yeah. don't you? Yeah, it's a fact. Well, let's see what Tyrone has to say about that, eh? Oh, you just stay away from yeah, Tyrone. He's my son, and I should be allowed to get to know no. him and... No, because he doesn't know you. Well, he will know he why you're dead! Why would you think that? Because, as far as I knew you were, I mean... Uh, Last time, I s last time I saw you, you were a junkie and you were going off to South Africa with your junkie boyfriend. Dad. So, yeah, as far as I was concerned, you were. <sighs> Did you ever ask yourself why I started on the gear? Oh, no, I've got, obviously it's my fault. So, if you don't mind, I'll excuse myself now. No, don't, please. Mum. I want to get better. I will get better if you help me. I've tried and tried so many times. And every time you let me down, don't you? You swear, you promise, you cross your heart, this time it's going to be different. This time I'm determined. This time. This time, this time, well, <laughs> it's not going to be different, is it? Because uh, you know what'll happen, I'll give you a chance and then you steal from me and you lie and you start using again and then you lie about using again. <laughs> Look at me. I'm 77 and I don't have the energy for this. I, I'm not walking the streets at night again, looking for you and dragging you upstairs, and I can't do it. Me heart, me heart won't take it. <sighs> I, 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 I love you. <sighs> if you do, I do stay away. Get some help, get some support, get clean. But stay away from Tyrone, because... Don't mess up Tyrone's life, please, the way you've messed up. I'm asking you, please, just, 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 just stay away.